If you want to make walking a regular fitness activity, is there a best time of day to do this? In this video, I'm going to explore four options, the pros and the cons. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my recommendation as to the best time of day to take a regular fitness walk. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm not a doctor, not a licensed personal trainer. I'm a guy who simply loves walking since 2013. I've averaged about 19,000 steps a day, not because I have to, but because I want to. And for the past three years, to encourage others to walk more and sit less, I've done a daily podcast, Walking is Fitness, to add a little bit of encouragement and motivation to your regular fitness journey using walking. And to keep it fun, I'm not in a studio imploring you to get out and take the walk. No, every episode is recorded while I'm out walking. So essentially, we're taking a walk together. Let's do that right now as we look at the best time of day to take a regular fitness walk. Of course, we'll start with mornings. I love mornings. In fact, this video is being filmed in the morning. It's a beautiful morning, blue sky. The temperature, not bad. The winds are calm. I don't even think there's a cloud in the sky. Mornings are wonderful for walking. First, it's probably the time of day where we have the greatest control over the schedule. So to establish a regular habit, a regular routine, mornings for most of us are the best time of day to do that because we control the schedule more in the mornings than typically the rest of the day. Mornings are also a great time for a regular walk because it allows us to think about the day, to process the day, to plan the day. Walking helps us to think better. And what great, great benefit that is as we're beginning the day and thinking through what's to come. Walking is also a great way to manage stress and lower anxiety. And if you wake up feeling stressed or maybe even anxious about the day ahead, a morning walk can help calm that. So great benefits to walking every morning. But there are also some downsides. Mornings tend to be the coldest part of the day. And during certain times of year, depending on where you live, that cold can be bone chilling. And that can actually be a demotivator to getting out and walking. And again, depending on the time of year and where you live and what time of day you've decided to take the walk, it could be dark. And for some, that doesn't feel safe. How about a walk at lunchtime? Great benefits to walking at lunchtime. If you have a job or you tend to go through the morning with a lot of sitting, taking a walk at lunchtime breaks up that sitting. And that's incredibly beneficial. Sitting can be very dangerous. And taking a walk to break up that sitting is a great benefit. And depending on how your day is going, a walk, even a short walk, can be a real mood changer. If you've had a bad day up until lunchtime, you take that walk, it changes your mood, and it can change your day. So there are some great benefits to walking at lunchtime, including if you walk after you eat, that walk helps the digestive process. That's a great benefit. But there are also some downsides to walking at lunchtime. You don't control the schedule quite as much in the middle of the day as you do in the morning. And depending on the weather, if it's hot and you're at work, do you really want to go out, take a walk, come back sweaty? Or if it's cold and you put a hat on, now you've got hat hair for the rest of the day. Who wants that? <laughs> or if it's raining. Again, if you're at work, going out walking in the rain and then coming back somewhat wet, that's not really appealing. So those can be demotivators if you've made a lunchtime walk your regular commitment. Now, it doesn't matter what time of day you walk, making sure your feet are happy and comfortable is super important. Because when your feet are uncomfortable or painful, you're not going to want to take that walk, regardless of what time of day it is.
Right now I'm wearing the shoes by Fitville, Rebound Neos. These are walking shoes. And as long as I've been walking as a fitness activity, this is probably the first time that I've ever had shoes that are specifically made for walking. And these are making my walks much more comfortable. One of the things about Fitville shoes, they come with a wider toe box. Now I don't have super wide feet, but the difference in the amount of space I have for my toes is noticeable and it's actually great. It's making these walks even more comfortable. These shoes are well made and they feel very stable because I'm walking on a very unstable surface right now. Fitville is sponsoring this video and they have a wide variety of shoes. They have shoes specifically made for walking, shoes for running, they have casual shoes, shoes for hiking, tennis, golf, and they even have specific shoes for certain medical conditions. Check out the line of Fitville shoes. I think you're going to be pleasantly shocked at the price point. And to make it even sweeter, Fitville is offering you 28% off your purchase. Use the code WF28, that's WF28, and you'll save an additional 28%. All right, what about an afternoon walk? Well, there's actually research that indicates when we exercise in the afternoon, that's the best time of day for muscle building and building endurance. That's a pretty great benefit to walking in the afternoon. Downside of walking in the afternoon, I don't know about you, I don't think I'm alone in this, but afternoons tend to be when I'm at my lowest energy. I'm demotivated. I call afternoons my slumpy time of day. And that can be a real challenge if you've made a commitment to walk every afternoon and you're constantly battling demotivation and a lack of energy. So those are the downsides of walking in the afternoon. How about an evening walk? There's something magical about walking in the evening at the end of the day. You can process the day. You can think through the day. You can even start thinking about the next day. Of course, the downside of walking in the evenings, it can be cold in the wintertime, and depending on the time of year, it can also be dark. And for some, that feels very unsafe. And one other con to walking in the evenings, depending on how close you walk to bedtime, exercising right before going to sleep can actually impact your sleep and not in a positive way. So, what is my recommendation for the best time of day to walk? The answer is the time of day that works best for you. Now, that might feel like a cop-out, but it's really not. Fitness is hard. Building a fitness habit and sticking with it is even harder. There are so many things that we have to overcome to establish that habit and to keep it going and you want to eliminate as much of the friction of fitness as you possibly can. And one of the things that you control is the time of day that you're walking. And if you choose a time of day that has benefits but isn't really working for you, you're gonna struggle with that. Instead, pick a time of day that works best for you. And I also invite you to check out the podcast, Walking is Fitness, Every day, there's a brand new 10-minute episode adding a little extra motivation and encouragement to go out and take that walk at whatever time of day you choose. And again, each episode is recorded while I'm out walking, so we're taking a walk together. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks to Fitville for sponsoring this video, and I hope you have a great day.